In this video we're going to talk about the degree of substitution for carbon atoms in an organic compound. So normally, in almost every case, a carbon atom forms four bonds. So that could be four single bonds, or two double bonds, or one double bond and two single bonds. But carbon atoms, because they have four valence electrons, like to form four bonds. Each carbon atom in an organic compound can be classified based on the degree of substitution by other carbons. So when we say degree of substitution, that's how many bonds on that carbon of interest are bonded to another carbon. And there are four classifications for carbon based on their degree of substitution. So we're going to make a little table here. And so first we have primary carbons and a one with a little degree symbol means primary carbon. And primary carbons are directly bonded to one other carbon atom. Secondary carbons are bonded to two other carbon atoms tertiary carbons, three with a degree symbol is the, uh, is the symbolic notation for tertiary, bonded to three other carbons. And finally, quaternary carbons are bonded to four other carbons. So we have our primary carbon, our secondary carbon, our tertiary carbon and our quaternary carbon. So let's start with quaternary. Quaternary carbon has four bonds all bonded to carbon. So a quaternary carbon has four bonds and the only thing that carbon is bonded to is other carbons. Our tertiary carbon is bonded to three other carbons and it has one other bond that's bonded to something else. In this case, let's say hydrogen. Our secondary carbon is bonded to two other carbons, and then its other two bonding possibilities are devoted to other atoms besides carbon. And finally, our primary carbon is bonded to one other carbon, and then three other things or it could have a double bond on the other side and another single bond, something. The important part is primary, one other carbon, secondary, two other carbons, tertiary, three other carbons, quaternary, four other carbons. It doesn't matter what other elements, it could be chlorine, hydrogen, bromine, that's not what determines whether it's primary, secondary, etc. carbon. The degree of substitution for a carbon atom is only determined by the number of carbons that are attached to the carbon atom of interest.